560. is up we are in vegas welcome to vegas it's beautiful out here it's only like 100 degrees and i'm wearing a coat no big deal <laughs> welcome to vegas guys started the trip got up uh, pretty early today and uh flew here and jumped right into a tournament here at the venetian playing the venetian double stack 1100 first break not doing so hot, just about uh, 25,000. Starting stack was 30,000, so nothing too exciting happened. But um, yeah, I'm uh, ready to go for this entire week, playing eight events, playing three World Series events, two Venetian, and three uh, Aria tournaments as well. So we got a pretty packed schedule, and I'll talk to you guys on all the breaks if I can, and uh, if not, I'll see you another time. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, we just busted the uh, Venetian 1100, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I had a really, really weird hand. I felt pretty uncomfortable in the hand. I'm not sure exactly if I played it right or wrong, but I looked it up afterwards and it looked like uh, I did play it right. So I had pocket sevens from the low jack. I raised, cutoff called, the small blind called, and the big blind came along as well. The flop is five, six, nine. I flop a gut shot, but I'm out of position and it's multi-way. I don't need to blow up the pot. It goes check, check, I check, cutoff checks, turns the deuce of spades, small blind checks, big blind checks, and I go big. I go about 80% pot because I need some protection. Small blind decides to check raise to about 14,000. And I decided to call. I think I have to call there with a gut shot, even though I'm not getting the quite odd, right odds. There is a flush draw as well, so there's a chance that he is just stone bluffing, but it's unlikely being multi-way like that. So I think about it, but I call River. He just open rips it and I tank for a bit. I'm trying to think what bluffs there are. I'm blocking straights and I'm unblocking uh, flush draws. So I'm trying to think what value hands he's have, he has there. I make a lot of mistakes of over calling too often. So I decided to go against my better judgment and fold. And I was right, he ended up having a straight. So I made a good fold. Uh, and obviously I was only beating bluffs there. But yeah, that was a pretty painful hand. That knocked me down to about 15 bigs. A couple hands later, I had King Jack suited uh, on the button, the cutoff raises, I three bet jam. He calls with ace 10, I flop a jack, but there's a queen out there as well. So he needs my king in order to hit a straight. And of course on the river, he binks the king to knock me out. So we are done for tonight. I'm gonna head over to my hotel then to Bailey's in Paris to register for the YSOP tournaments for the rest of the week. So I will talk to you guys later. Not good at all. Uh, rough start, rough start. Uh, holy crap. The first like 10 hands of a tournament, super roller coaster, up and down, up and down. Uh, it was all coolers, flushes over straights, flushes over flushes. It was just nuts. Uh, we're on break right now, but I only have about 10, 12 big blinds left. Um, I'm gonna have to read this off. Uh, sorry to the graphics department, which is me, but uh, <laughs> try to show all these hands off, but uh, here we go. First stand, queen, jack of hearts under the gun, raise it up, big blind calls. Flop is king, 10, queen, two hearts. So I have an up and down straight flush draw. I bet the big blind check raises, I call, turns a six of hearts. 
So I hit the flush, big blind bets, I call. The river is a seven, big blind bets pretty big. Uh, and I tank for a bit because I have obviously the second nuts, but since we're super deep and you have to worry about, when you're deep like that, you need to worry about who has the nuts. And I did not have the nuts, I had the second nuts, so I decided to just call and he had flopped the straight. So we win that big pot. Very next hand, I three bet from the big blind, the small blind to the right uh, of me, who was the player that just lost the big pot. He raised, I three bet with ace king off, flop was ace jack 10. He checks, I bet, and he jams 7,500, which is a pretty big bet, but I have top pair, good kicker, and obviously a gut shot straight draw, so I'm not going anywhere, I call his jam. Uh, unfortunately, he flopped the nuts, he had king-queen. So that was like the second hand. It goes brick-brick and I lose. Two hands later, I had nine-six of hearts, small blind versus hijack, flop six-four deuce, heart, heart, heart. I flop the flush, I check, he bets, I raise, he calls, turn is a nine, I bet, he raises this time, I call, river is a jack, I check, he bets pretty big, and I call. He has a 10 of hearts, so he flopped the nut flush, I had a lower flush. Pretty sick, another big cooler, lost all, that, all those chips that I won. Uh, got that, got me down to like 17,000 in chips, starting stack was uh, 25,000 and then just kind of um, card dead for about an hour two hours after that and then there was a big hand I basically flopped a top pair top kicker in a three bet pot and he rivered a flush on me so that knocked me down to about 20 big blinds and just blinds after that and uh, going up and getting shorter and shorter and now we're down to like 6,000 in chips which is super short so crazy start been pretty rough. This is the $1,500 freeze out at the YSOP, my first YSOP event of uh, the week. Uh, got a lot more events to play and hopefully we go on a little run here and uh, double a bunch of times. So I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, nice one. What's up, you guys? We're on break right now at the Millie Maker World Series of Poker event, uh, number two out of three for me. The last two events were pretty rough. I'm glad this has a better start to it than the last uh, two tournaments. So we're on break here. Starting stacks 25K, we're at 43K, so we got a little double in. The uh, big hand was I had aces from the low jack. Uh, small blind decided to come along. Flop is deuce three, four, two diamonds. I have the ace of diamonds, great flop for me. Small blind checks, I bet, and he check raises. I call, the turn is a king, he fires again. I call, the river is a blank seven of hearts, and he jams all in. And I am blocking straights, I don't think I can fold anything. <laughs> so uh, we call, and he rolls over king, queen of diamonds. So he check raised with the flush draw, smacked the king on the turn. Thankfully he had, he had a lot of outs, but uh, thankfully he missed. So doing great right now, that was the big hand, and I'll talk to you guys on next break. Also, I almost forgot to tell you guys that Kathy Liebert just sat down at my table. She is an old school pro that I've seen 18 years ago. Uh, playing so it's kind of cool to sit and play with her so uh, hopefully she doesn't kick my ass. All right on second break here it's been quite entertaining a little bit of a roller coaster I'm above starting stack I get about 30k starting stack is 25k so I got up to 48k then I was able to pull off a bluff on Kathy Liebert so that was a fun hand uh, but she got me back the next hand and I doubled her up uh, but the bluff was she raised from uh, early position. I called with pocket sevens with the seven of spades from the hijack. The flop is six, five, jack, two spades. She bets, I call. The turn is the nine of spades. She bets again. 
and this time I decide to re-raise because I have gut shot, straight flush draw, and I don't think my sevens are necessarily gonna be good at showdown a lot of the time, so I decided to go for the bluff, and she folded, so that was a nice bluff. But a couple hands later, there was a raise from kind of early position. I had ace jack of diamonds from the cutoff. She three bet from the big blind. Flop is king, king, jack, two spades. She leads out a little bit big, maybe half pot or so. I call, turn, she only had 10K left and the pot was like 17K, uh, so she jammed. I don't think I can fold there. I'm unblocking spades so she can have some bluffs there. I am blocking ace king and aces and I've also heard she has the tendency to be a very aggressive player. So I'm thinking I have to call there. It was tough, but she rolled over queens and uh, we lost that one. So that was the big one. I doubled up or I knocked somebody out the next hand uh, short stack. So uh, got up to like 35. But the last like hour, they sat down a bunch of solid players and I've been on like, I'm calling it like a bad heater because I've had like tons of pocket pairs, like ace queen, ace king, been like three betting, been very loose, very aggressive. And it's kind of been backfiring because I've been missing the board and I've been button heads with this one guy on my right all for the last two hours. So it's been pretty ugly, but uh, we still got 30K and that's like 60 big blinds coming back from break. So still plenty. So I'll talk to you guys at the next break. All right, on break here at the Millionaire Maker. This is like the fourth break. Uh, just a little bit of a roller coaster up and down, and just hovering around 30,000, and that's where I'm at right now, 32,000. Uh, the only interesting hand really was uh, the last hand right before break. I had king, king, queen of clubs on the button, under the gun raises, I call. Flop is ace, five, four, two hearts. He checks, and I don't have any back doors or anything really, so I just check behind. Turn is a queen, he bets, and I call, and then the river is a king. So I have two pair, he checks, I bet like 3,000 into like 7,000, and then he check raised huge to like 18,000. I almost checked back the river because I just had like this weird read off this guy that he was like nervous, like he had a monster hand or something. Maybe it was an excellent bluff, I'm not quite sure, uh, but uh, I tank folded. Uh, so that was a pretty rough hand at 32,000. So I'll see you guys on next break. All right, just busted the Millie Maker. Pretty depressing, obviously. Played for like eight, nine hours today. Almost made dinner break. Just not a good day at all. Nothing really worked for me. Got up to 48K at one point and just uh, bombed ever since then. Made some pretty bad plays, I think, but um, hard to tell. Um, but overall, uh, it's hard to win tournaments when uh, near the end there, I basically ran two pair into a flush and uh, trips into a straight. And then busted kings versus aces. So hard to win tournaments when you get cooler like that. But, uh, you know, my play wasn't the greatest either, but uh, that's poker. And uh, this is the third tournament. We got, uh, what, five left? Tomorrow and Sunday is gonna be Aria and Aria 400. And then why stop back on Monday, Venetian Tuesday, finishing off at Aria again on Wednesday before I fly out. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. on break right now at the Aria 400. It's beautiful outside, pretty windy and cold actually today in Vegas. Well, 75 is cold in Vegas. So we're on break. We are 35,000, starting stacks 25,000. So doing okay. Uh, we had a big hand uh, early on. I had ace nine suited from the button. I raise small bind three bet. I called the flop is ace, ace nine. We flop the joint. And he just opened rips, 60 big blinds. <laughs> and we snap him off. He has pocket nines. 
I have Ace-9 and uh, just a super duper cooler for him, obviously. So it was a nice, nice double, nice way to start it off. So hopefully we can keep that uh, run good going. Yeah, so this is the first of three ARIA tournaments uh, for the rest of the week. It's a smaller field, smaller prize pool, obviously, but hopefully we're not uh, competing with the big names, you know, like Kathy Liebert again. So hopefully the fields are a little nicer to me and uh, hopefully the cards are nicer as well. So we'll see what happens. But also I, I had this dealer um, a couple minutes ago. He was just really entertaining. He was announcing the cards and the play and like a horse racing announcer or something. He'd be like, all right, and now it's on this guy. And now it's on this guy. And this guy races. Oh, 3,200. It was just really entertaining. So I'll talk to you guys on next break. All right, what is up? We are on, I don't even know, third or fourth break. I skipped the last one because nothing's really been too exciting the last four hours. Uh, just winning a couple, losing a couple, winning a couple. Uh, finally knocked out a lady that was uh, kind of pissing me off for three hours. I got up to uh, 122,000. Uh, I have, uh, I think that's 30 big blinds. There's 10 people left until the money, which scares me a little bit because uh, I played this tournament twice before and I bubbled both times. Uh, so a little bit nervous now. So the big hand I had aces, I raised it up. Uh, I was in under the gun one, hijack calls, flop is queen, seven, deuce, rainbow. So really safe board, I'm out of position. I'm pretty sure that's a board I can check on. And I did, uh, he checked back, turn is an eight. I go ahead and bet a little, like 40% pot. He calls, river is a seven. I bet uh, about 40% again. I could probably go bigger, but diamonds came in, but uh, we got value and he had pocket nine. So that was a big hand that got me up to 122,000. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on next break and hopefully I uh, cash this one. All right, that's so pretty. <laughs> All right, we just busted. Oh well, but uh, hey, we made the money. It was a long grind. I finished in 16th place out of 197 players, which is pretty incredible. Once uh, we got down to the money, I was at 10 big blinds and I basically grinded for the next three hours, five to 10 big blinds, really short and uh, made a couple pay jumps. So we finished with uh, $980, buying was 400, so we walked away with 580 bucks, which is great, because that pays for today's tournament and tomorrow's tournament at least. Uh, yeah, so we had a pretty great time. Uh, no hands to talk about when you get that short, it's just pretty much all ins and stuff. I'll show the replays for you guys. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I had a pretty long day. It was like a 10, 12 hour day. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had a great time and um, talk to you guys tomorrow. on break right now at the aria 400 I have a great stack 67k starting stack was 25k so doing pretty hot the big hand i had queens under the gun small blind came along flop was queen jack 10 we flop a set of queens uh, that does hit the uh, small blind range so i bet a little bit bigger i go 66 percent pot he calls turn is a jack and I decide to go tricky tricky this time and check it back. So we have queens full jacks. The river is a six and he checks. I decide to go tricky tricky again and do an over pot bet. The pot was 3,500 and I went 5,000. It worked and he check raise to 16,000. I tanked for a bit and ended up jamming all in and he snap folded. Uh, so my trap worked and got a big pot there shoot my vlog in front of these sexy looking cars so uh, hopefully when we bink one of these tournaments we can buy one of these so <laughs> i'll talk to you guys on next break all right we're on break here holy crap holy roller coaster batman <laughs> 
Oh my God. So we were at 67K last break. I got down to like 7K. I tried off uh, a big bluff with flush blockers and straight blockers. It did not work. He had also had some good blockers. That was a big pot that I lost. And then I ran two pair into a straight that got me down to like 10 big blinds. And then it's been super heater ever since. And now we're at 95K. It's been crazy. Uh, the most exciting hand was somebody jammed all in for like 20K. He had seven four off suit. He was just like fed up. Uh, I had kings, I call, and then ace, queen of diamonds jams. All in, all in, all in. The flop was jack, 10, four, jack of diamonds. The turn is the king of diamonds. So now he has a royal flush draw and a straight. So he already has me crushed. But uh, thankfully the uh, jack on the river gave me a full house, kings full jack. So that got me up pretty big there. Oh, fucking A, pair the board. There we go. <laughs> and Tom Wheaton's at my table now too. I've met him at uh, MGM Grand in Detroit. We played at the uh, meetup game with Brad Owen and Andrew Nimi. Uh, really cool guy, CEO of Faded Spade. He's at my table uh, and I got to win a big hand off, off of him as well. Uh, so yeah, doing pretty hot and uh, hopefully we keep it up. Holy shit. Uh, I just busted. Uh, <laughs> I hate roller coasters and I was just on like the biggest roller coaster ever and it ended horribly, it crashed and burned. Uh, easy come, easy go, that saying couldn't have been more true in this case. Last break I was at 95K. My heater continued, got up to 200K, which was a massive stack. And then just coolers after that. Um, these two guys on my left, I don't know if they had it out for me, but I just kept button heads with them. And they cooler me each time. I would have like ace queen, they would have ace king, and ace would come. And I would just lose these little pots over and over and over again. And then uh, one big pot was I had queen jack of diamonds. I raise the guy on my left calls again, flops nine, 10, three, one diamond. I check, he bets pretty big and he wasn't, he didn't have that much back. He had, I don't know, 30K back and he bet like 10K. So I decided to just open rip. I have two overs, a backdoor flush draw, open-ended straight draw. I probably don't have much fold equity, but he calls, rolls over 9-10 off suit. So clearly this guy just hates my guts for some reason. I don't know if I'm supposed to be jamming there, but uh, I didn't even have two overs and, and I completely brick bricked. Uh, so that was a huge pot. And then like five minutes later, I have ace jack suited from the small blind. I only had 20 big blinds. Uh, early position raises and I three bet jam. Ace jack suited is a three bet jam for 20 bigs. Uh, from the small blind. So we run into ace queen and we bust. So utterly frustrated. Just, um, I'm just like at shock and awe, like to run it up to 200K, crushing it, and then just like lose, 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 lose. Easy come, easy go. That's poker. I'm tilted. Uh, that 9 10 off kind of crap is calling me and binking, but it's poker. I'm gonna try to like calm down and like catch my breath. <laughs> Pretty frustrating, but um, got, uh, what's tomorrow? Monday, we got the YSOP 500. So um, we're gonna try to start fresh tomorrow. So I'll see you then. What's up you guys it's monday it's day six of eight it's like 11 o'clock or something at night but well, ryan where's our updates you were supposed to play the world series of poker 500 freeze out where's our updates there was no updates i played for 10 hours straight completely freaking card dead i had like five all-ins one to double up and then a couple of the steel blinds to basically survive 
And then the last one, obviously, I got knocked out on. Pocket nines aren't supposed to lose ever, but they did to ace 10, 10 flopped, whatever, we busted. Today, forget about it, it was frustrating as hell being so card dead. Yesterday was frustrating as hell, forget about it. We're on to the next day. We got two days left, tomorrow's 1100 Venetian right next door, and then finishing it off Aria 400 on Wednesday. But for you, right now we got a little bit of a commercial. I uh, am a little bit of a graphic designer, have a back background in graphic design, and when you Google poker gear, there ain't nothing out there. When you Google poker shirt, it's just these stupid cheesy sayings with bad graphics. Well, I don't wanna wear that crap, I wanna wear something else. I wanna wear something modern and clean and crisp and something that's clever for the modern poker player. So here we are, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I designed and I want you to check it out because I'm pretty happy with it. I've been wearing it through all my vlogs, clearly. So here we go, we got the uh, let's fucking go t-shirt. We got the topographic map jacket and backpack I've been wearing. We got the Ace of Spades water bottle. 99 outs and I don't hit one. Three bet, C bet. The GG good game. Spade socks. We got the uh, poker player hat. That's like blacked out, black on black. We got the uh, topographic map t-shirt with all the suits in there. Got the RH brand all in t-shirt and then we got this dope ass hoodie with the uh, small spades that turn into uh, dollar signs. So yes, please check out my stuff. I would really appreciate it. Been working hard on it for last month. I'm pretty proud of it. Links down below in the description, check it out. And for now I'm going to bed, I'm tired as hell. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, have a good night. Well, it's beautiful out. Uh, you can see by the lighting, it's a little bit later in the afternoon. Uh, I don't know, was it eight o'clock at night? Started at 11 o'clock here at the Venetian. I've been playing all day, almost the same story as yesterday. Nothing happened, there was no updates. There's not a single strategy hand, no graphics, nothing exciting to talk about at all. Uh, just grinded and uh, missed all the boards. And uh, yeah, I just busted, had 15 big blinds from the button and three bet jammed all in from an early position raise. He called with seven, eight suited. Uh, I had pocket nines, flop is seven, eight, 10. He flops two pair. I had an up and downer though, but uh, yeah, brick, brick out. Not sure what seven, eight is doing there, but that's been my week, so. Uh, yeah, pretty rough, but um, hey, I'm pretty much done with Vegas. Uh, it's been a pretty rough week. I've had a really great time. I am playing tomorrow, maybe, we'll see. I gotta fly out Wednesday night, tomorrow night, so I may or may not play, but it is what it is. I'm going to Fremont and having a fun time, so I'll talk to you guys later. Michigan I just landed and I know you're thinking what happened to the 400 at Aria uh, so I went there I, I went early got breakfast uh, with a buddy and we get there and they changed it to like a satellite or something for another event so I ended up not playing it um, I was already out of the fence about it anyways because I had to fly out last night Vegas time and uh, I didn't want to be rushed uh, you know, to miss my plane or something like that to happen. So, whatever, we didn't play last night. Uh, but yeah, Vegas trip over, obviously. We're back in Detroit. Uh, we played seven events. We spent thousands of dollars, which was really fun. Uh, <laughs> and we only won like a thousand bucks. So, 
Uh, we still lost big time, but overall, what I think of the trip. Seven games, we only eat small cash. I'm happy with it. Obviously, I'd be thrilled if I binked 100K, but um, you know what? I, I thought I played well overall. I know I made a lot of mistakes, like for one hand, for instance, um, I had nine six of hearts from the small blind and hijack raised with ace ten of hearts. I'm supposed to fold that hand. Uh, and the flop came heart, 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 and I lost a big pot. I lost half my stack because he had the nut flush and I had a lower flush. I'm supposed to fold that hand. I, I thought I could call a little bit wider from uh, against the, the, the hijacks range, um, but I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I can call nine seven of hearts, but nine six of hearts is just a little too wide. So those little mistakes I'm still trying to clean up. I feel like I'm, I've improved a lot. Still lo learning, we're still growing. Took notes for every tournament. Checked a lot of the hands out on GTO Wizard. Overall, GTO Wizard agreed with a lot of my plays. I try to make sure my game's as close to that as possible. Uh, adjust my game exploitatively if someone's playing too tight or too loosely. I played pretty well overall based on that, but I did make a couple huge mistakes where I try to do some crazy bluffs with uh, using blockers and I looked at the solver and it was like, no, you actually you weren't, supposed to, you weren't supposed to do it there and you actually blew a lot of money, Ryan. That was stupid, but whatever, we're gonna learn. I'm gonna ask a couple friends' opinions to see uh, what they thought about my plays. But um, yeah, trip was awesome. I had a great time. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. It actually really helps me out. I love all the support you guys give me. Um, and, and yeah, keep watching. I don't know what my next trip is. Uh, I, I know there's a MSPT in, in October back at Battle Creek. That's a couple months away. Um, but yeah, keep uh, watching and, and I'll let you know when the next one comes up. So I'll uh, talk to you guys later.